Now to that story of the COVID survivor. Given less than two hours to live, a Canfield man says it was a miracle that he beat COVID-19. 21 News anchor Derek Sire recently sat down with Jeff Fusco, who talked about his spiritual experience and hopes his story will be a wake up call for those not taking this virus seriously. In the midst of recovery, Jeff Fusco often takes a moment to reflect. All my organs had stopped at one time. How he's still alive. They couldn't replace my blood fast enough. So I was bleeding, bleeding out, bleeding to death, actually. COVID-19 put Fusco on his deathbed. Doctors told his parents that he had less than two hours to live at one point. Liver, lungs were filled with the COVID glass. So it was an honest miracle that I made it and I experienced a miracle. In his final moments, Fusco says he found himself in God's arms. He asked me, what do you want to do? You have a, I have a place for you? where you can stay here. And I said, uh, if it's okay, I, I'll stay. And he said, you can stay. It was that simple. Fusco outlasted those two hours, slowly started to recover. <laughs> and after nearly two months in the hospital, was finally able to go home. I think the combination of the health care I received, the blood that I got, and the prayers, and uh, which were extremely important, and all the support and the miracle that took place gave me this chance to be here today. That little extra makes a big difference. Yet five months later, it's just a little extra. Fusco is still dealing with a variety of health issues, including a dropped foot and numbness in his left leg. I do wish more people would honestly believe that this is not as cut and dry or black and white as what it may seem is either you get or you don't, you live or you die. It's um, a lot more complex than that. Today's one of the best days. Oh, yeah, look you at that. are. That's amazing. Now rehabbing three days a week, Fusco is making incredible progress. COVID was a wake up call for me. And sharing his story to try and help people realize just how dangerous this virus can be. I learned so much about this virus by having it that I do think it's important to people to learn from people like me about what could happen. Not to live in fear. Wear your masks, wash your hands. Things that they're saying for real do, do make a difference. I feel like I gotta help as many people as I can. Jeff really does want to help. He says if there's a survivor out there that has questions or just needs to find resources for help, send him an email. I have his address in this story on WFMJ.com. Also, if you want to hear more about that near-death experience he had, I put more of that part of the interview on our website as well. With more local news, I'm Derek Steyer.